everybody welcome back to my channel my name is mark and i'm the mediocre modeler um so this is my second update on the rust bucket group build hosted by marcelo over at mars garage i'll leave uh his um channel link in the uh, description and uh i want to do a shout out for uh craig modeler this guy is a uh, well most of you guys probably already know him uh pillar in the community uh he hosts the uh 48 hour group build he's co-hosting the um bg appreciation group build and uh his name's craig I, I call them something else. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Craig. I uh, got your name wrong, and, uh, you know, I don't know why. But anyways, uh, I know it now. <laughs> but go over to his channel. Check him out. He builds all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you, as you can see, he uh, built that double-decker bus. He's built that uh, passenger airliner, a boat, and a fire truck, um, all kinds of stuff, military he builds it all. So, cool guy, cool channel. I'll leave his link in the description. Thank you, Craig, for the kind words on the back. I appreciate it. So, this is my second update on Marcelo's group build, the Rust Bucket group build. As you guys know, I'm doing the uh, diorama of... Terry, a.k.a. Senior. So I'm replicating, trying to replicate the uh, rust bucket on the shop card here. So here's where I'm at. I'm at the point, I'll show you this first. This is the uh, door handles, and basically what I did is I sprayed this uh, rust color, rust-oleum paint. It's called uh, Rust Oxide. And uh, it looks pretty good, you know. I just kind of held it back and misted a little bit. So it looks kind of like, you know, pitted, rusting effect. I like I like the effect. You can still see the chrome through it a little bit. That was the rear bumper. Got the, uh, the mirror. So I looked on the shop card, and there's no um, headlight lenses on it. So... I put those in my stash. This is a gas cap. And, uh, oh, yeah, I like that effect. You know, um, I still have to detail up the battery a little bit. And uh, eh, we'll do some washing on it. This is the interior tub. I sprayed it with uh, flat black, and then I sprayed it with the uh, rust oxide. Um, it's a nice base coat, you know, so this is the, uh, dashboard. I haven't done that yet. So the body is all mocked up. I'll take off the hood. So what I did is I sprayed it with, uh, that chrome oxide, chrome oxide, <laughs> that rust oxide. And then, uh. Let that dry, and then I use the uh, salt of salt method, and uh, I use coarse salt and wet the uh, the whole thing down, and I sprinkle salt on it, and I sprayed it with uh, Mister Surfacer twelve hundred gray. That's a flat color as well. So I like the uh, patina look. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal it with uh, matte clear, and I did. This came out really good, I think. Oh, I'm happy with it. So I'm going to wait to put the, uh, you know, like the door handles and stuff when I'm completely done with it. Um, here's the, uh, I still get some salt. You can see it right here. I got, I got it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash this off. 
let it dry and then I'm going to hit it with Mac clear and then I'm going to start doing washes on it after I uh, seal it with Mac, Mac clear I'm going to use this acrylic paint this is Rossiana chrome oxide green Mars black burnt umber and cadmium yellow so I'll be uh, doing a bunch of washes and we'll see you know I'm just gonna experiment and have fun with it you know um, there's no mistakes <laughs> doing one of these that's what I like about it you know it's, it's pretty fun I'm having a good time and I'm glad I jumped in I didn't uh, do last year's uh, my channel was kind of new and I had my group builds going on and I didn't want to get too buried, and so yeah, I'm, I'm going to do some weathering on the bottom of this, and what I did is I took the stock, um, stock pipes, stock headers out of this kit, and I put it on this chassis. This chassis came from that 1940 Ford truck that I'm redoing. And so I took the stock pipes from that kit, put it on this, and if you look underneath, I don't know if you can see it, right under here, you can see the stock 1940 pipes. So what I did is I just cut the muffler off right here, and I glued this to the side left this this was uh muffler was stock to the 1940 Ford truck chassis and then so I left that on and this this part the back part was the other side of the muffler from the stock muffler I hope I explained that right <laughs> uh, <laughs> I cracked myself up, you know. So the chrome looks good, all covered with that uh, rust oxide. So, yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is hit it with matte clear, and then I'm going to do a bunch of washes on it. Uh, I like the way it's turning out. I did the uh, black over the rust oxide. And uh, as you can see, there's some more uh, salt right here. So, yeah, I got to clean it up and... I like the way it's coming out. The 40 Ford, I'm going to do a separate video on that. But uh, I made some progress on that. And I also made some progress on the uh, um, Porsche group build. And I'll be coming out with a video on that. And also the Deformed Cartoon group build. So check that out. Here. That'll be this week. And... Uh, you know, Marcelo, I'm having fun doing this. You know, uh, I'm running out of time, but I think I'll get it done. So I'm going to try something. So I, I gathered some, I have this piece of metal out in my yard and a piece of machinery and uh, it, the water pools in, into it and uh, it, it gets all rusty. So this is all actual rust. And if you touch it, it, the pigment gets right down in your pores and is kind of like ink almost. So I'm going to try using that. And I also made this uh, concoction. It's uh, rust and water. So you see all the uh, sediment at the bottom of this pickle jar. So I don't know. We'll try that using real rust something i saw on uh, youtube and uh hopefully it works all right we'll see it's all fun so everybody thanks for checking out my video give me a like a subscription thumbs up and uh have a great rest of your week peace out